we are told that Lynn has saved $80. He spent $17.50 on a gift for his brother and $22.95 on a gift for his mom. How much money does he have left after buying the gifts? Pause this video and work through this on your own before we do this together. All right, now let's think this through. So we know how much money Lynn starts with, $80. So let me just write that down. I'm just going to assume all of this is in dollars. And then how much does he spend? Well, he spends $17.50 for his brother. And he also spends $22.95 on his mother. So there's really two ways, and maybe more, that you could think about how to calculate how much money he has left. You could just say, okay, he starts with $80, we take away $17.50, and then we take away another $22.95. Another way to think about it is, he's starting with $80, and then let's just take away the total amount that he spends. So what I have here in red, the $17.50 plus the $22.95, this is the total amount that Lynn is spending on gifts for his family. So what we need to do is just subtract that from the original $80 that he starts with. So let's work through this together. So let's first add $17.50 plus $22.95. So I'll start in the hundredths place. Zero plus five is five. Go to the tenths place. 5 tenths plus 9 tenths is 14 tenths, which is the same thing as 4 tenths and a whole. Let me put my decimal there to make sure we have everything lined up. Now, 1 plus 7 plus 2, that's 10 ones or 10 wholes, which is the same thing as 0 ones and a 10. And now we have 1 plus 1 plus 2, that's 4 tens. So this is how much Lynn is spending. So this is $40 and 45 cents. And so now we just have to subtract that from the original $80. And let me write it out all the way, I'll use that same shade of blue. Let me write it out all the way to the hundredths place. And I am going to subtract now the $40 and 45 cents, the total amount that he spent on gifts. And what do we get? Well, it looks like we're going to have to do some regrouping. We can't take five from zero, four from zero. And the first place where we could take something from is in our tens place. So let's take one of them away. So this becomes seven tens and 10 ones. Now let's take one of those away. That becomes nine ones and 10 tenths. And now let's take one of those away. So that becomes nine tenths. And then that one we took away, that extra 10th, that is 10 hundredths. And now we are ready to subtract. 10 minus 5, 10 hundredths minus 5 hundredths is 5 hundredths. 9 minus 4, we're in the tenths, so this is 5 tenths. Put our decimal there. 9 minus 0 is 9. 7 minus 4 is 3. And there we have it. He is left with $39.55. That's what all of this business is equal to.